Everyone and their second cousin is talking about cursor AI and how AI is just making development very fast and developers are moving very fast and even normies are starting to develop applications using cursor. I think people are going on two different extremes. You have one side that says all these tools are completely useless and then you have another side that says all these tools will replace developers and I think both are wrong. I think the middle is where the true sauce and the true knowledge is. And the way I look at these tools is as simple as AI is your co-pilot. You are still in charge. You are still the boss. You are still the lead, but AI is a great co-pilot. And after playing with these tools for the last couple of weeks, I'm going to be sharing with you a great framework slash flow that I have that seems to be getting me good results. So let's get straight into it. So first things first, I call this the ultimate AI framework because I am not clever with names. Step one, I always start with uh, v0 and the reason being is most of the applications I develop are Next.js React applications So naturally I'm going to start with v0 because a v0 is great with UI components It just has this sauce where it makes uh, The components look very clean very simple part mostly because it uses chat and UI under the hood But v0 has the latest and greatest knowledge base when it comes to Next.js uh, Claude and even cursor oftentimes will suggest to you old practices like the pages router and stuff like that. So because V0 off the bat will use Next.js best practices and is great with uh, designing and building components, I mean, compared to the rest, of course, I'm going to start with that. So I use V0 to build my UI components uh, to just build the foundation of my application. And then what I do is I take those UI components and I pass it to Claude AI, not cursor, Claude AI. And what I tell Claude AI to do is to structure and organize my code base into a proper code uh, into a proper code base. And basically what I mean is when I, when you prompt V0, it's going to probably give you one giant component. You're going to obviously want to split that up to multiple components, different pages, organize them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I find Claude to be great with structuring and organizing and giving me a diagram of how to structure things, where to place um, all the components and to give me the components so I can just copy paste them. Once I have that foundation, then it's time for Cursor and me to do our thing. And Cursor I usually use for adding features or debugging. And I'll be honest, I haven't, like, I find that Cursor kind of starts to get dumb as you continue to use it, especially if you're using it from scratch. But I notice I get really great results when I use V0 to build the components and I use Claude AI to structure the code base. And now I, ha I use Cursor with an already established code base, with an already established context. And I just seem to have been getting better results. This is kind of the flaw I've been working at things. So instead of just telling you, I'm going to show you, uh, we are going to put this to the test. So why don't we design something simple? And then if this video gets uh, good likes, good comments, and people let me know, maybe I'll do a full tutorial on how to build the proper application. So for now, let's uh, please build a notion style. Uh, well, I'm right here. And great. Yo, Vercel, you need to fix V0. I'm going to add Jared on Twitter. All right, now the queue is done. Let's uh, actually always be nice to your AI. Please build a Notion style landing page with a clean, minimalistic... Uh, look, I don't know if I spelled that right, but if I did, praise God. And if I didn't, don't roast me. So simple prompt. Let's just build a quick and easy landing page. All right. So my landing page has started. So we have Acme Inc. We have a nice header and then we have some features. But this isn't this is too little. Uh, add a testimonial section uh, with hover animation so that when I hover over it, it nicely animates. I don't even know what type of animation. I'm just let's see if it comes up with something slick. So again, this is this is how this is where I start my applications, especially if I'm building on Next.js. Um, I'm going to start with V0 because V0 again can get the components right, can get the components looking right and it's just a great base to start off of right it's not your finished application it's not the perfect application there still needs human human intervention but you can move a lot faster with this all right so our testimonial section has been added and i like that i like that animation 
Okay, we have a testimonial section, we have a feature section, and then what else should we have? Um, add um, CTA uh, after the testimonial section with a button that says uh, get started. Uh, I forgot T get started all right so it added my call to action but there's one more thing i want to fix i want to add an image in the in the hero section add an image in the hero section below the enter your email input and button i just feel like an image underneath would be great this is starting to look good like i ain't gonna lie this is this is just a couple prompts i ain't even given design tips yet this this is starting to look good so now here's some things i would do i would say for the testimonial cards please make them look more chat cn ui-esque make them look modern with that minimalistic feel but it also feels like a premium startup now i'll be honest all that stuff that i wrote i actually don't really know what it means but it felt right and let's see if v0 can capture my thoughts and how like what i'm trying to say now i will say i don't like how it's handling um uh, light mode and dark mode, and I would not be using this. So this is something I would remove from the code or I'd even prompt it to remove because I'd be using the theme provider to handle that. You know what? Much better, much better. Again, I, if I gave it more specifics, like make the roundness this and all that type of stuff, it would. But for me, this is a great base. This is something I could get started with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on code. I'm going to copy this code. And then I'm going to go to Claude and I'm going to say, please organize this code into separate, separate components. Did I spell separate wrong, man? Separate components, um, separate components. This is a Next.js application. Please use Next.js 14 standards, not the pages router, but app router remember app router and then give me the file the code base slash file structure and give me the components to copy and paste i'll be honest my prompting skills suck but hey i'm getting the job done aren't i so let's hit enter and this is where claude shines in my opinion so again, gives me a nice code structure. Wait, I'm going to stop it because it's doing uh, TS. We don't do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, forgot to mention it's TypeScript, buddy. All right. So now we're going to let it cook again. Perfect. So look what it's doing. Give me a nice folder structure. So components header, hero feature testimonial cta footer right so i'm getting the the folder structure and i'm also getting the components looks like i have my file structure and then i have my components it didn't give me my types finish the components sometimes it'll just like tire i'll be like oh i've reached the limit but then all you have to do is just say finish the components so what i'm going to do is i have a next.js application here we are using uh, cursor, right? So if I do command shift K, you see the composer there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell composer, create a file structure, uh, structure as follows, and just create the files with boiler plate. I will put the code in and then what I'll do is just paste that and then hit enter and let's see composer cook what I'm going to do is okay all the stuff's done I'm gonna hit accept okay so composer literally created the file structure for me with just random boilerplate code so what I'm going to do now is I am going to go to Cla Claude go out of my layout copy 
Layout.tsx, paste. Go on page.tsx, copy. And then I'm going to paste. And I'm going to keep doing this. So I don't want you guys to watch me copy paste all. So I'm going to copy paste all these components. I copy pasted all over the code. I did yarn uh, to install the packages. Now let's hit yarn dev. And let's see if this is working. Oops. Okay, so page works. And for the most part looks good. The header is just weird. The hero's okay. The feature section's okay. The testimonial section's okay. And the CTA just needs uh actually no, it's okay. Technically that's how it's supposed to look. But the hero is weird. So now let's fix the sorry, the header. Uh let me do command shift L and say the header looks weird and is not centered. Please fix. And now if my suspicions are correct, I believe cursor will take care of us. So all I do is apply this to the entire file, hit accept, refresh. No, it did not fix it. So what I'll do is say, can you remove the So what I'm going to do is, because it did not fix it, I'm going to give it a screenshot. And then I'm going to copy this, paste it here, and say, look at the header nav bar. This is how it looks. Please fix it. All right. Let's see if these changes work. Hit accept. Okay, so cursor still hasn't fixed it. So this is where as the lead pilot, I step in and I just paste that code and that should fix it. So now I have this magnificent landing page that I can use. So understand this the AI isn't perfect. I'm tired of people thinking that this is going to replace developers. No, but this is a tool that we can sort of use to obfuscate certain tasks, things. Maybe there are things we don't like. I know a lot of devs don't like working on UI. A lot of devs don't don't like working on front end. A lot of devs don't like working on different things, right? And I feel like AI can help us speed up that process, right? I don't even think we've got to a point where someone who doesn't have a developer mind can use these tools efficiently. You still need a developer mind. Everyone building like a simple to-do list and stuff like that. Sure, you can do that. But we haven't got to the point where you can use AI without a developer mind to build uh, large code bases, big applications that can do like, you know, serious things that can solve serious problems. Nevertheless, that doesn't mean we shouldn't learn them. Hope my simple yet very powerful framework, <laughs> I'm just joking, but I hope this framework helps. This is what I follow. I use V0 to build my UI components, build my foundation, Cloud AI, Cloud AI to structure and organize my code base. And then it's me and cursor knocking down some code, knocking down some bugs, adding some features. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully this, you know, makes sense. Hopefully you understand this. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see more AI content, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, my future no-code developers.